Hello, and welcome to my thoughts slash review on Star Trek Infinite. Now, before we begin, I am going to wing this one a little, so it's not going to be as tight as my other reviews. It'll be somewhere in between my newer reviews and my original reviews. For those wondering, Star Trek Infinite, developed by Nimble Giant Entertainment and published by Paradox Interactive, which is a 4X grand strategy game based on the Stellaris engine set in the Star Trek universe. In the game, you choose either the Federation, well, one of four factions, Federation, Klingon, Romulans, or Kardashians, and then proceed to play through roughly uh, about 150 years of Star Trek history. Uh, set right before, right, no, right after? Sometime between the original show and the next generation, all the way to just after the end of Voyager. As always, the first question we ask is if this game is worth the $30 asking price. The answer to that is a conditional yes. The condition being whether you already own Stellaris and how big a fan of Star Trek you are. If you already own Stellaris and all the DLC, just go grab a moth. That's probably the best thing you can do. However, if you do not own Stellaris, or any of the DLC, in order to get any mods to work, you're probably going to have to drop between $60 to $80 to buy Stellaris and all the required DLC. Or, you can just pick up Star Trek Infinite for $30. Bucks. So, stark price difference there to keep in mind. The good news is that if you are interested in a Star Trek 4X that is well done... Especially for a $30 price tag. Here you go. The graphics are good. The music, excellent. And the strategy is deep. There are enough unique game mechanics and mechanical changes between how worlds are built. Uh, the mission tree. How ship design works. That sort of thing. That... This is not just a skin slapped on Stellaris. They have made enough changes that the $30 price tag is warranted. This is its own game with its own mechanics and balance. Keeping all of that in mind, you also need to keep in mind this is essentially an early Paradox game. This, even though it's made by Nibble Giant, Paradox is the one publish it and I, it feels like they had their hands in the kitchen as it were this means it is in need of patching mostly for balance and refining those new game mechanics into something more user friendly again the good thing is paradox sponsored so that means they are patching regularly and appears they will be doing so for a while the game, like I said, the gameplay itself, and I need to re-energize this, very similar to Stellaris. I'm, I'm going to rehash some things here real quick. It is, it is well done for what it is, but it is definitely its own game. So, if you're a fan of Star Trek and have no interest in Stellaris, if you're a fan of Grand Strategy and never had an interest in Stellaris, or you don't want to pay the, you know... Full, full quote unquote price for Stellaris for 30 bucks. This is a good pickup. If you're a fan of Star Trek and 4X games, good pickup. If you're a fan of 4X games and have been curious, good pickup. So, for again, for $30, well done. Is, is it, you know, this is its own game and it has its own mechanics and balance and is worth the 30 bucks. So, all in all, for $30, if you're tired of Stellaris and want to change your pace, are a fan of Star Trek and want a 4X game in that universe, or have no interest in Stellaris, but are interested in a Star Trek game, this game is worth the money. Do you agree with me? Have you played the game yourself? I encourage conversation in the comments. Just keep it reasonable, please. Okay. <clears throat> Other than that, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this 
my thoughts video slash review on Star Trek Infinite. If you did, feel free to leave a... Or you did it, feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, smash that bell, all that jazz. Even better, check out other videos and playthroughs I've made. Bestest, come on over and check me out when I stream live. <coughs> Excuse me. Every Sunday through Friday, like permitting. And until we see each other on Twitch, until we see each other again, remember to be kind to one another. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.